apparently hitting uh, some boy, somebody with some um, not. I just up smashed him out of shield. I don't know what he's confused about. He's claiming I hit him with the front smash of up, the front hit of up smash from behind, but it hits on both sides every hit. Oh. Anyway, anyway, Frost versus Little Video, the team kill in losers fifths, right? Uh, yeah, losers fifth. So this is gonna be a so, best of five. Do they know it's gonna be best of five? Um, you know, after this game, I'll go out and remind. Uh, yeah, you. yeah, if you can, please. But uh, anyway, this is gonna be a little bit interesting because I know that Frost is actually really good against the Shadows, believe it or not. He's actually really, really yeah. good against the Shadows. And uh, little video, of course, being his training partner, I don't know how this is gonna work out too much for him. But it's also Terry too. Yeah, I mean, training partner, it can always go either way. But at the same time, Frost, a uh, little better results. Of course, played his character for longer, and you're saying he has a good matchup. So, all right, hit someone with a little bit of the ink. I think a throw combo should be able to kill it now. So if he gets it like a hoo-ha, it should be it. All right, man. Okay, uh, so do you know why? I know I know. I hear Inklings talk about it. Do you know why Booyah is hard? Because I don't know. I don't know why Booyah is hard. It looks pretty simple to I me. Believe, <laughs> I believe them. If they say it's hard, I'll believe them. But I don't know why. Maybe it's just really tight. I don't know. Well, sometimes, like, I, I guess sometimes if you get the right DI, like, even at the later percentages, it won't kill. Like, I lived, the, mm -hmm. like, at 145, and I got down throw to, to, like, the whole Booyah thing, and I just did not die. But anyway, speaking of somebody who did die, down tilt, down tilt, down tilt to True Rising Tackle, going to take that stock. Yeah, so what I noticed uh, when I played a little video earlier, I don't know if he so much relies on abusing his hitboxes as much as some other shows do. Like, I'll play Burr, and he'll... At least against Link, he'll just spam Nair to beat out my Nair, or Fair to beat out my Nair. Little Video more relies on, I think, his single hits and his big damage moves there. He'll throw out those a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's just the type of, play, type of play Little Video has always been. He's always been the one, like, you know, if you won't let you wake up with a special just like so. <laughs> he hit me with spot dodge attack to Power Geyser. God, this is so scary. <laughs> This is so scary because what if he get, what if he just opens up? What if he's not blocking at that one particular moment? Yeah, and I mean it covers so much. Both the moves cover so much space in front of him. Oh, just it's run the up. Same animation. <laughs> it does look like the same animation, actually. Now, oh, okay, power geyser. Jump here. No, sir. All right, that should be it. Yeah, wow, it should be he's it. Hit the booyah twice. Yeah, I don't know the whole like stuff about it not being like good or something like that. Yeah. But again, I don't play the character, so like I can't really say too much. Oh, so much damage off of just a simple jab, thirty percent. Good spacing too with the uh, backwards fair and the power wave oh. to deal with the uh, the pressure. Yeah, I love that answer. These fairs have been super super good. And the good thing though is between the two, oh death. Yeah, not a quick enough mash gets a hit with the S smash, but that was still a really really close game You say not a quick enough mash like there was a quick mash that you had <laughs> I don't know. Capus is actually kind of ridiculous. I don't that know. is fair. Yeah Capus has got the like I think Loki has got the best mash in DFW like she might it terrifies me It does it's so good <laughs> Like sometimes I grab Capus at like 140. I'm like I'm gonna get a couple pumples in and you know three off stage or something twice yeah. What it didn't work? <laughs> Why are you flying off the left side? Like I didn't do forward throw. Oh, you just broke the grab. All right, sick. But anyway, enough about Capus. Uh, Capus, of course, was the I person. I didn't remind them it's best of five. Yeah. Oh, just go. Just go in. Just yeah. It's gonna be best of five. That's it. Okay. All right. Anyway, gonna do a little bit of solo commentary. I've done this plenty of times. There was a times at Freaks where I did four hours of solo commentary. Of course, we're above that time now. We're uh, not in the timeline anymore. Hopefully. But anyway, uh, getting back into this matchup now. Uh, I do kind of like to pick the Smashville. Smashville, I think, is one of uh, Inkling's best stage, if not her best stage. But the thing is, too, is that, like, you know, characters like Terry or, like, the fighting game characters really do like Smashville, too. It's a very close area. He's now Highwayman's fault if anything goes wrong. No longer my responsibility. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the, he missed the spacing of that side tilt. I wonder if he can actually just Buster Wolf that. Ooh, that's not gonna kill, is it? Okay, cool. Wow, caught him right before the power wave too. That's unfortunate. Good for uh, good for good though for Frost though. All right, throwing yeah. the back airs. Doesn't get the down to the combo and the jab though. Terry, Terry's like one of those characters that it's always good when you get you get out of the go meter unscathed, right? Yeah. <laughs> sort of like you get rid of Arsene unscathed. You get rid of. 
but he's got confirmed. He still got confirmed. He, he's got confirmed all the way from like zero to whenever you die, basically. Do you have to dash up for down tilt up B, or do you just do it? I think you can just do it. I think the rising tackle is able to suck you in, if I recall gotcha. correctly. Oh, okay, nice. I'm loving the use of the spacing too. Yeah, that forward air is so big that once you get good with that, it's really hard to deal with. Oh, call to the rising, uh, not the right, the uh -oh. crank shot. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Once again, pretty good against the show those frosts. Yeah. Hit him with a flow chart. He knew exactly what he wanted to do and executed perfectly. Okay, this is up to little video. He's got to kill him on his last trap. A little bit risky of a scenario there. Risky of an option, I should say. That Frost seems there. incredibly hard to get off ledge versus. Yeah, Frost was so good at timing that down smash too. I saw him do it against Capus. Little bit's got to find some way to get off this ledge. Okay, fourth throw puts him back off stage. Power Dunk gets him back on stage, but only for a short while. Is oh, that yeah. Kill? No, still living. He's got another chance. He's got another shot of destiny here, though. I think, uh, and good stuff by Frost, by the way. I kind of want to point out that little video might want to just roll there sometimes because it seemed like he neutral got up like eight times and got punished for it eight times in a row. Yeah. Um, I noticed though that Frost was punishing it well earlier with that down smash because it catches both timings. Mm -hmm. However, I will say just from the perspective of I don't want to die, getting hit by a down smash back on the roll, you are less likely to die. Yeah. So if you're just trying, I just need to eat something and make it back and try to time it different next time, maybe try the roll. Yeah. So I agree. This is it's funny too because it's coming from two like heavy uh, character players. So we're like, I'll take the hit right here. As long as I don't die, we'll be okay. He plays Terry. Terry's just as heavy as anyone. Yeah, Terry's a little swole to be honest with you, my he's man. He's heavier than Link. He's he's really. I've hit him with sure you at like percentage wise thing I should kill, and he's been like, yeah, nah, bro, I got to go now. Actually, I think you know, finally, oh, okay. look at what we have here. Oh, seeing a uh, reference back to Smash Four days, seeing the Ryu come out. So like a little bit of desperation from little video, but this might work out. Yeah. Who knows? So what do we need to know about this matchup, Big B? <laughs> this matchup is like it doesn't feel bad now. Last time I did play Frost, he did beat me at, uh, in this exchange. But even uh, considering like Fireball, like surprisingly works out pretty well. Uh, Ryu anti airs the absolute hell out of um, this character. But the point is though is that like if he can get anything started, down to combos also work free on this character as well. Gotcha. I'd imagine it's just hard for Ryu to find his opening with how slippery Inkling is, you know? Yeah, In Inkling's a, a very slippery character. Should be able to get a confirm off that. Going for the Nair combo there, that's a little bit odd. Well, I mean, Ryu is, uh, not to doubt his ability with the character, but he hasn't played Ryu as much in Ultimate. This is his tertiary. Yeah. He main Belmonts for so long, maining Terry right now. Mm, yeah, I can understand why he went for the focus there because after you with the uh, up air probably thought he was gonna go for a back air But frost is like, you know what if I miss I'm just gonna do it again anyway A nice little frame trap by frost I guess in that particular scenario Yeah, as you brought up before like I'm you, well, we're starting to see a lot of like, you know, I haven't played this character in a while so like some of my uh, Confirms everything a little bit sketchy mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think another thing too is you'll when you're playing a character you don't play as much you'll you'll miss a bunch of those texts and whatnot because you're thinking so hard about okay what do I do how do I keep it together and then you're not thinking about oh wait I still need to play solid fundamentals. Yeah, and this is looking really really rough for a little video right now. Also, one thing too, uh, spray, Ryu can't do anything about that. That's one thing about the matchup that I'm like I can't do anything about this. You can hold shield and buffer a B because if they want to react with a grab, but like that's like. They can just honestly debate that out. Yeah, if you just miss the up B. <laughs> yeah, you get rolling and you die at a great percentage. Ooh, misses the grab. Doesn't get the shore you there. Uh, Ryu's shore you hitbox is a little bit too small to hit on that end. Yeah, All right. Ryu just doing his best to stay alive. Yeah. Oh, misses the there. Up throw should be up air. No. Oh. Oh yeah, hard up tilt. You know, just Dinky do it. he accidentally buffered that turnaround. He definitely wanted that re-grab and did not want to face the outside there. <laughs> Not impossible, but it might as well be impossible. Yep. Frost taking it with a hot 3-0 over a uh, little video. Yeah, he was looking pretty clean, especially game three. Just had control more or less the entire time. Yeah, more or less the entire time. It just kind of like, that was really tough to watch. Uh, not really tough to watch. It's like, you know, it was brutal. Uh, but little video just did not seem to have the answers while Frost seemed to have like almost all the answers. I think he should have switched off with Terry in my opinion.